Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to try and take you through another old Shadows tune, one that's pretty popular, everybody seems to to like this one, it's called The Savage, and it's war way back in the 1960s when they recorded this one, and obviously Hank's recorded it many times since, but this is taken from the very one of the very first recordings that I've got of this one. Um, it's a quite a tricky tune is very fast um, quite a lot to it and I've approached and I'm using a different approach to the to the to the lesson this time I'm just sort of playing it through with a bit of the backing track and, and without the backing track explaining the bits and pieces as I go along best way I can um, and at the end of it you should have a fair grasping of the tune anyway and then obviously it's up to you to, to improve it in your own way um, I've used a, a good bit of reverb on this one um, and you, you can get the backing track from Goran Tankring he's got it on his site and he's also got the tablature on his site for you to download I'm sure he's quite quite happy for you to do that and um, as I say I've slowed it down to just under half just just about half speed I've, I've slowed it down to to play along with it for you so that you can get a, an idea of where I'm playing it on the fingerboard um, so have a go at it have fun and um, that's what it's all about doesn't matter if you can't play it does, you know it's just a case of, of trying and getting some fun out of learning it and, and it's a really good tune to play and it's a really really good number so all the best with that and I'll catch up with you another time. Bye for now. Okay, this is first part of the Savage. Half oh, very slow speed. You're on the seventh, seventh fret, fifth string, first note. Repeat that. Right, here comes the second section. This uh, next section, it starts on the uh, first string at the seventh fret, which is a B, and it goes like this. Okay, so that you can uh, keep it in context, I'll go from the bits where we where we first where we started. Then and we'll do it again straight through. Okay, again. Okay. 
that's as far as we've got with those that first opening part this uh, part of it <clears throat> the next part is by way I suppose of a, of a kind of like a bit of a solo quite difficult to play um, but I think it goes something like this you're up on the you're using the uh, 10th and 12th frets second and third string like that those two notes there and it's going to be like it's something like this Something like that. We'll do it again. I think if you can get that bit off, that will do for that section, I'm sure. That last section, um, I didn't explain to you. I, I, I explained the first bit there. But the second part of it, you go down to the third string on the ninth fret, and you get the and you and you you've got to uh, play the fourth string of the twelfth fret there in a kind of like a bit like a shuffle rhythm sort of. Like that. So that wasn't, I didn't explain that properly. It's quite difficult and tricky to do. I mean, it takes quite a bit of practice for you to get it off. So it's kind of um, th this sort of thing. And then you go down to a B flat chord, which is there on the fifth, uh, fifth um, fret, B flat chord, and you run up on the chord like up to that D note and that's an that's an A chord and you're back on the A so it's a B flat and then you're ready for the next section which I'll show you next I just played the uh, the video back there and I realized that when I said to you go up onto the B flat there I meant the sixth fret and not the fifth fret of course if you're on the fifth fret you're on A which is wrong you've got to be on the B flat so I just wanted to clear that up for you sorry about that so into this this is another very very tricky part of this tune um and don't forget we are playing it we are playing it slow at this moment at this moment in time till we till you can get these these sections under your fingers and we left it where it went like this didn't we and then you we've got to go three times on this this third string That's that section there. I'll just go through that a bit, bit clearer or a bit better. Um, there's a kind of a, like a drag back on that um, bit there. Is the two notes I'm, I'm touching on the uh, on the on the second and third string at the seventh fret. Yeah. Once again, I've, I've checked through the video. I wasn't completely happy with that last section. So if we'll just go from from there again and try and explain that drag back. It's it's uh, very difficult to play slow and if you play it up to speed you probably find it will be easier to play rather than slow but anyway it should sound like this sort of like this And 
that's that whole section there's a lot there and that's an all sort of an arpeggioed arpeggioed b flat again starting on the eighth fret of the fourth string and going down to the fifth string and then they're arpeggiating up like this up to the d the tenth fret down to the c on the eighth fret I'll try and do that once more. Bend there, drag back. Ending up on that last, that an A note, that last one there on the um, that last note there end up there and then you're ready to go back into the main tune again I hope that clears it up a little bit very tricky to do that but keep persevering with it and uh, I'm sure you'll get it off so we've got to this we've got this far we, if, you're, if you're still with me um, this is the last part as we wind it down to the finish now all of this stuff that I'm playing now you've played before so you haven't got to relearn anything um, but this is how it goes. We've come out of that that little break, and we've we've got to go back to the bridge section, which is going to start on now. <laughs> Thirteenth fret. And that is your savage. You yeah, almost forgot <clears throat> those last two chords are uh, B flat, which you play twice B flat once on the A and then twice more on the B flat and once on the A to finish like this and that's the end that's the end so um, the B flat at the 6th fret the A at the 5th fret and let the echo carry you out and I think that's probably about as good as we're going to go for today's lesson okay sketch you later